I'm Maya, this is Bessie, and I have a 2016 Ford Transit midriff and it's a 148. I bought my van um, in September 2020 and I started building it out with my dad, actually a lot of help from my dad that next month. So it's been almost two years since I've had the van, it took a year and a half. Because um, living in Arizona, it's a little hot to work on it in the summer. I'm also a flight attendant for a mainline airline. So having the van gives me a lot of freedom with either going on trips in the van or saving money and I'm going on trips with my flight benefits. All right, so come on in, let's check it out. So behind the driver's seat, I have my kitchen sink unit so I wanted a decent sized sink so I'm not all clustered and trying to wash my dishes and then I also have 33 gallons of water uh, it's only cold for the sink and then I have a five gallon gray water tank so the cool thing about my sink is I can use it as an outdoor shower so I just have to pop the screen out flip it over and voila I got an outdoor shower behind the sink I have my trusty snake plant that doesn't go anywhere and then behind that I have a backsplash that's with a flexible grout that we put in. Um, right above it is a screwed in LED light just for extra light if I'm set night and I want to do dishes. And then I have sliding cabinetry with miscellaneous stuff. I do have three sliding drawers. We all gotta have a drunk drawer. So this is mine, and then I also have my uniform drawer right here, easy access for when I'm on the go. And then my favorite part about the van is probably my spice rack, it has all my good spices, paprika, red pepper. And then I have my inverter switch and my battery monitor. So by the sliding door I have my other countertop space, I have my induction stove, um, I decided to go with the induction stove because I didn't feel comfortable with having propane in my van. Um, on the other side, I do have a pull-out table, which is awesome for when I'm having coffee outside. I also have just extra USB ports, and then of course a bottle opener, you gotta have that. Right here I have three more um, sliding drawers. The bottom one is my food storage. In this drawer right here I have a chest-leg style fridge. It carries about a week's worth of food. It's nice to have. And then in this drawer, I have my utensils, maybe another slash drunk drawer. And then I have my lights that turn on and off right here. And then right here, I have extra storage space. So one thing I knew that I wanted in the van was to be able to walk all the way through to the back when the doors are open. So I went ahead with a convertible bed. Obviously it's in bed mode right now. So how I put the bed to couch mode is once the sh all the sheets are off, I the bed is cut into four different pieces. So I split them down the middle and then actually underneath right here in the middle is the table. The table goes on top of this pipe right here and this is my best friend because I use this to lock it into place and then the couches go up and it's all set. So one of the great things of having a convertible bed to couch conversion is I really wanted the space to be able to have people over to eat, to talk, to play games. I just really wanted to have the chance to invite people over to have fun. And, stuff. and the overhead bin space, we decided to go with more of an angle for taller people when they come and visit. Um, it does seem like it probably cuts the room, but it's actually quite deep. Like this one has all of like my jeans and stuff. For the windows, I have one on each side. Once they're open and I have the max air fan going. It creates a really nice cross breeze. Um, and then for my cushions, I did sew them myself. I'm really proud because it's a new skill I have. So that's good to know. We decided to raise this part 
so it's more comfortable when you're sitting right here and then it also makes for a great garage and table with all this space if i'm backpacking I lay out all my gear if i need any emergency supplies i have all this right here So right here I have my closet, behind me is my mirror to get ready and then any jackets and anything else that I want to store in here. Great hanging space but as you can see it's not just a closet, I use this other latch, look at it here, and it's also a shower and a toilet. It's a restroom. I don't know how my dad came up with this, but we both knew that we didn't want this to just be dead space. We wanted to maximize as much space as we can in the van. So he came up with this build where it somehow fits in here and slides out. I do have hot and cold water. I have a two and a half gallon tankless water heater, which is really nice. Um, I do eventually want to upgrade to a five gallon. And then I just fit in here quite well. <laughs> and shower. I do have a cassette toilet, but hopefully in the near future, I will get a composting toilet in here. Hey, thank you for checking out my van. I hope this can give you some ideas on your van build. If you want to follow along on my van life adventures, you can follow me on my Instagram page, Traveling Papaya, or on TikTok, Maya Watson. Hope to see you on the road. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.